Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome to a mod showcase. This time we're looking at the V's Craft mod uh, that allows you to build these airships and uh, you can fly around in your world and uh, there's different designs as you can see. In fact, there are four different types. We're going to quickly have a look because I can't remember their names. But uh, there are four different types of uh, aircraft here. There's the Wiesenberg, the Wiesegible, the Wieseppelin, and the Wiesekron. And they each get better and better and faster and faster. There's quite a few recipes that you need to know as well before you start crafting these things. So we're going to have a quick look and uh, then we're going to... Actually, let's go for a fly around first of all and then I'll show you some of the recipes. As you can see, you can take little creatures along with you. Um, I've got a little puppy here who wants to come along. Where's your little face? There you are. I've got a little puppy who, wa who wants to come along. Um, let's just let's oh, let's just jump in if I can jump in here. There we go. So you press R to open up the airship panel. Uh, we can change the look of it. Uh, it doesn't change any of the stats, but we can change the look of it just like that. Uh, we can also add modules, which I'll show you how to do in a second. You also need some fuel. Now it does take regular fuel, wood, wooden logs, wooden planks, but there is this special fuel which is called uh, the, the pellets here. So I'm just going to uh, just add a few pellets there. And uh, they burn for quite a long time. You can see how long you have left uh, flying time here. We've got uh, currently almost nine minutes of flying time, which is pretty amazing. So it's going to press space to fly up and uh, we can fly around just like this. It's pretty amazing. And as you can see, you can take a, a player with you or a, a pet dog or whatever you want <laughs> with you for the flight. And uh, yeah, this this uh, these little uh, airships are pretty amazing. So let's just take it back and I'll show you some of the recipes. Some of the other cool features as well. Uh, there are different versions and uh, there are these books that you can read if you want to find out all about them and they have all of the information. Uh, if you have a look up here at the top you can see uh, we're currently altitude of 71 and we're going up at the moment. It has a max of 190 which is pretty high. Um, some of them have a lower maximum height, some of them have a higher maximum height. Uh, where is my landing pad? There it is. Let's just land on our little landing pad here. Uh, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, so you can't use a regular crafting table to build these uh, airships. Let's just take out the fuel um, and that will turn off uh, eventually. Uh, you will need to make a special uh, crafting spot for the airships and I'll quickly show you how to do that. So you need an airship workbench. Uh, to make that you need some iron blocks, some lapis, some gold, a crafting table and you'll also need a fire charge which is made with blaze powder, gunpowder and charcoal. So you may need a trip to the nether if you want to build these workbenches. Um, the way you do it is you just right click on it and it brings up a little crafting table here. Now I've got a design for one of the airships. There are four different designs. There are many different airship frames that you can build. Uh, this one is, let's just quickly go and have a look at some of the recipes here. This one is an emerald airship. Now depending on the airship frame that you use, it will uh, change your speed and your maximum altitude. This is a pretty good airship frame. It has a speed modifier of plus 1.7 and it is unlimited. Uh, in its altitude. So the recipe for this is emeralds, blocks of emeralds surrounding a minecart. So that's pretty expensive. There are some cheaper ones that you can build and uh, if you are playing survival and you don't uh, have all of those emeralds you can build something a little bit easier. Let's go and have a look uh, over uh, over here. So you can start with the wooden ones and they're pretty easy to build. They're just uh, blocks surrounding the minecart so that's pretty easy and uh, they do go up in in level here so we've got the brick one the the bone airship frame which is blocks of bone and uh, as you can see the speed if you look at the speed down there as we move up the speed gets faster and faster the max altitude gets higher and higher until it's um, plus three speed and unlimited uh, altitude now you can add modifiers to your ship as well. We'll go down and have a, a look at a few of these. Uh, there's the patterns which you can use for the airship balloons. Let's go and have a look at just the the regular pattern which you need first of all, which is leather plus a logic chip. The logic chip is pretty easy to make. It's redstone in between some cobblestone with some gold nuggets down there as well. So that's the, basi uh, the basic uh, balloon pattern. And then you can make the, uh, the upgraded patterns such as the phantom lava balloon which is the nether wart with the lava balloon pattern as well, which is ink sacks and lava. So there's all different kinds of airship um, 
uh, balloon patterns and there are these modules which you can add into the airship as well there's the basic logic chip which you need um, for the basic design but then you can increase the speed with a minor speed we've got major speed let's have a look at that one uh, we need some logic chips we need more fire charges um, so all the recipes are here um, we also have the module for the inventory as well uh, infinite fuel there's a, a different uh, you know different varieties of modules you can only add one module per uh, balloon so you have to choose which one you really like and add that one cruise control uh, we've got the balloon colorizer which is charcoal the logic chip and some iron ingots and I'll show you how to use that in a second uh, we also have I just want to show you the, the large inventory because you may want to bring things in your airship as well uh, this is a couple of chests the logic chips the diamonds and the emerald at the bottom there so that's the basic recipes ah we need the recipes for uh, the basic airship as well so we need the airship balloon which is the leather with the string um, we've got four leads here for this design and as I said there are four different designs uh, this is the best one the airship ignition uh, needs the iron ingots uh, the magma block in the middle which is the magma cream so you it may uh, involve a trip to the nether to get a few of these items the gold ingot and the uh, the iron ingots as well that's the the airship ignition um, and we also have the airship engine which is uh, pistons with a red uh, redstone block in the middle the iron bars and the ingots uh, in the corners so that's all of the um, all of the items that you need to make your airship we're going to place this in the airship workbench I'm going to put the uh, the nice frame in the middle there as well let's go and grab some of these leads and put them down and uh, the airship ignition there we go so we've got a version uh, a version for airship balloon uh, let's just set this today. It is raining. It's a, it's a terrible day to do this, but uh, that's okay. Now, the way that you get these things going is uh, you look up into the sky, hold shift and right click. You're going to throw it. It's going to explode and turn into an airship just like that and will slowly descend. I really like the design of these airships. Um, you can change the color, but let's, let's go and have a look at this one here. Let's go and right click, press R. And uh, as I said, we can add modules to it as well. Now, did I grab one of those modules? We've got the... Um, I did have a speed module somewhere, but we've got the module for the extra luggage. So let's go back. And as you can see, there's space now for our luggage. So we can stick our luggage in here, take it with us. It is going to slow us down a little bit um, because we are going to be carrying uh, all of this luggage. Uh, we also do need, do need to put in a little bit of fuel. So let's just put in a little bit of fuel here. 10 minutes of flying time, so that's fantastic. And uh, we can lift off and have a little bit of a fly around. And uh, that is really, really amazing. So we've got the luggage, so we're a little bit slower than we should be. But uh, this is, yeah, it's pretty amazing. And I'm going to show you a few of the other designs as well. Looks like some of the puppies are waiting to go for their ride. So let's just uh, drop this one down. I'm just going to take out the fuel there and let's head on out now okay um this little blue puppy wants to go for a ride as well uh there is this one this one is really nice actually let's take this one for a spin i will need to put in a little bit of fuel i should have probably just left some fuel in here yeah i have the speed upgrade in here so this one this one is as you can see really fast this one is really amazing there's some kind of a i've got the mo creek whoa i've got the mo, mo creatures mod on so there's there's just strange creatures are uh, all over the place uh, yeah this one is pretty amazing as well there is a water landing module which you can use uh, to upgrade because if you don't have the uh, the water landing module and you try to land in the water things are going to go terribly wrong very very quickly I'm just going to show you what happens if you don't have the water landing module it's going to flame it's going to start smoking and oh it explodes so yeah don't land in the water <laughs> you want to stay away from the water unless you have the water landing module uh, there's a couple of other designs here let's go and have a quick look this little puppy wants to have a ride so we're going to put in a little bit of fuel here I don't have a module in this one so we're just going to go for it let's go this one is pretty cool I like this one because you can see where you're going you don't have to worry about the balloon being in the way this one's a little bit slower I think it's a version 2 it might, it might be a version 3, I'm not sure, I can't remember. I think this one's a version 2, it seems fairly slow. Um, I do like the open design, and uh, as I said, you can, you can carry things, you can carry creatures and other players in the back there as well, so I've got a little puppy with me today. And uh, let's head on back down, and uh, try the last one. 
And uh, this one here is a <laughs> another another one I can't get on at the moment because the puppy's in the way. Um, the puppy's not going to let me get on. There we go. Okay, uh, let's just make sure we've got a little bit of fuel in here. And uh, we're going to lift off and take this one for a bit of a swing. Uh, take this one for a bit of a spin. This is the version uh, three, so it's a little bit faster than version two. And uh, yeah, you can take you can take it and uh, fly all over your world. Just remember, don't land on the water, or things are going to go terribly wrong. So I'm going to uh, to have a look at the the coloring here because you can actually uh, customize your uh, customize your airships. Now we've got the colorizer here. Uh, I'll show you the recipe for this quickly. It's just coal, uh, iron ingots, and a logic chip in the center. If you right click. Uh, no, shift right click, you can set the color. So uh, 132, uh, I don't really know here. Uh, it doesn't go that high, but uh, let's go six. And uh, this one we're going to go 120. We're going to save all of these. Uh, it's a purple color. And then I think it's shift and left click. Uh, shift, shift, yeah, shift, left click. Changes the color of the balloon, uh, so you can do it that way. You can also change the pattern. I've got a colorized ender balloon pattern here. Uh, the recipe here is the eye of ender plus the ender balloon pattern. The ender balloon pattern is the leather with the ink sacks and the ender pearl and the logic chip. So, uh, yeah, you can figure out how to make these things, and uh, we can just give it a basic um, pattern change. I think it's shift right click as well. Uh, shift, or is it just right click? I can't remember. Uh, it's not changing the pat. Oh, I think it's shift, shift left, shift. Okay, it, it was working before. Can I change the color? Can I change the pattern here with a shift left click? Uh, uh, it's not working for me. It was working before, but uh, there are different patterns. I'm sure. I'm sure it does work because I have. I have got it working before, but it's just not working. For me right now but uh, what we're going to do instead is have a look at uh, some of the extra modules here um, as you can see these are all the different designs that you can make there's so many to choose from version 1 version 2 version 3 and up to version 4 which is the quickest um, the mythic Viesera Kron the end of Viesera Kron okay so we're just gonna have a look for the uh, for the water landing here we go let's try this I want to see if this works I haven't used it before so I'm going to grab this one, looks really nice, and uh, it doesn't have any fuel in it, so let's put some fuel in here. I think it burns it all out. Let's go and have a look at the module. Um, oh, okay. That was the cargo module, but let's go and see if we can do a water landing. So uh, let's take off here. This one's pretty quick as well. If all things are working properly, we should be able to head out here and uh, land on the water. I want to make sure I don't land on a lily pad. So let's head out here and uh, we're just going to drop down. And yes, a water landing. Woohoo! Beautiful. So we can uh, we can ride around on the water as well. That's really amazing. So all of the all of the modules appear to be working and uh, this is a really amazing mod. Um, so yeah, make sure you stay tuned for the next mod showcase. This is uh, Beastcraft. I'll see you all again soon for the next video. Bye.